Greetings Laddingtons, I'm checking in with a quick video that will hopefully be helpful in your path, in your quest to sculpt a heroic physique. So I've gotten a good few questions regarding it, regarding cutting weight, cutting fat, getting shredded for summer. So I'll try to keep it as brief as possible because the mental technique I would like to share is um, beautiful in its simplicity. So basically when you start getting leaner, you will notice that avoiding hunger isn't all too difficult really. You can just increase the protein intake if you want, but the, the main challenge is to resist temptations and cravings. So perhaps you have eaten and you feel full in your body, but your mind, your brain tells you to eat a bit more. So if you can take the platonic tripartite soul and you have Eros, one of the horses who wants to bloat Max, he wants to eat a lot and uh, of course it's natural that uh, part of your soul or part of your physiology wants to eat uh, more. So you put on uh, some fat so you can survive in um, you know certain situations. So it's normal but it's something you would, your, um, the driver of the chariot, uh, he wants to be in control so your rational part of your soul wants to be in control and says, you know what, we need to go in this direction. So my dear horse named Eros here, you need to go in this direction. So what happens then when you get these cravings, these urges to eat after you are already full? So you're not hungry anymore, but you get these insane cravings of, well, it depends from person to person, but it can be some sort of sweet, some sort of pastry um, or whatever. I'm sure you know yourself what you are susceptible to. So anyway, what you need to do is simply to replace the image of, in my case, perhaps I am having a craving of an arax bol, which is a traditional Swedish pastry, which I do enjoy. I do enjoy in moderation. I eat every once in a while, so I don't binge on it. But say I am in a position where I need to get shredded to take some pictures or whatever, so I know that I can't eat certain things at a certain time, then I simply replace the image that appears in my mind. I replace that with the following, what do you want to look like? So if you want to look like a certain statue or an actor, say Gerard Butler in 300 or Brad Pitt in Troy or whatever it might be, just project that image, boom, there you have Leonidas with a nice physique, you know, he's um, shredded, everything like that. Project that image, boom, the minute your craving um, appears in your mind, and then you can actively choose. You have your chariot, you have the two horses and the driver, and then the driver, which is your rational part, says, okay, um, let's go in the direction of what we want to look like. So that can, so you always present yourself with the option, with the choice of what do I want? Do I want this craving? Do I want this uh, pastry? Or do I want to look in a certain way? So again, I don't want you to starve yourself. You shouldn't be hungry even. Sometimes, of course, you also need to go hungry. But the the main challenge I've always uh, found is to you know stay clear of um, temptations and this, the allure of eating when you're already full in your body. So it's not hunger per se, that is the annoying part, it's the craving that you get after, sometimes in the evening. And this is also why intermittent fasting is quite a good um, a good weapon to, to slay these demons of temptation, so that you have eaten your dinner and then you decide I don't eat anything beyond this point. Because I know that for myself also, and for a lot of guys, the issue is the late night cravings that it would be damn nice to eat whatever it might be. But if you know that dinner is the last meal and then you don't eat anything beyond that point, it's um, it's a lot easier. So anyway, good stuff, good stuff. I hope it helps and do check out all links in the description box below. If you haven't already read Dauntless, it is absolutely mandatory reading. First link in the description box below. Now, thank you for watching. XXO, boom.